Hey, what's up everybody? Jordan Libel from Piano here, and we're teaching a lesson on Rock Organ 101. So if you ever wanted to start playing rock and roll organ, this is the lesson for you. We're gonna look at some of the basics of what makes a rock organ sound, like the Leslie speaker and the draw bars, and we're gonna do that by learning Gimme Some Lovin', the Spencer Davis group lick. So here's the lick right here. It's a really simple lick. We're in the key of G major. Uh, the first chord that we're playing is just a G7. So what I'm doing is I'm just playing G, and then I'm playing D and F. And notice that I'm not letting go of this bottom G note throughout that whole riff. I'm just letting that anchor the whole progression. So I'm in G7, and then I just bring my top two notes down to make a C chord. So there's G, C, E. And then I pop those top two notes down one more time to make a straight G triad. So a G7 chord. Moving to that C chord and then down to the basic uh, G triad in root position. So now let's add some effects to give it that signature organ sound. The first thing that I'm gonna do is turn on the rotary Leslie speaker feature on the organ here. You'll have a similar feature on your keyboard. It might be on the mod wheel, which is that little wheel that you have on the left hand side. It might be a button like mine. It might even be a switch or a, a little knob or something that you can use. But basically it takes your sound from going like this to sounding like this. So there's two settings with the Leslie speaker. There's a fast and a slow setting. And they kind of add this expressive vibrato to your organ sound. So notice how when I play this riff this time, I'll start off with the Leslie speaker going slow and it's gonna be this kind of slow growl. And then I'll press the button to make it go fast and this time it's gonna start to warble and become a more expressive vibrato effect. So that's that iconic B3 Leslie speaker sound. It'll take your organ playing up 10 notches by just messing around with that effect. Sounds super cool. All right, the next thing that we're gonna look at is the draw bars. That's these weird little sliders on the left of the organ here. If you have a dedicated organ, maybe a B3, if you're lucky, or if you have just a uh, digital organ like what I got here, you'll probably have some similar uh, features like these draw bars, and what they do is they add overtones to your keyboard. So if I pull these way back and push them all in, the organ's barely gonna make any sound, but when I draw them out, they're gonna add different harmonic frequencies to the chords that, you, that you're playing. So the one thing that an organ doesn't have is velocity sensitivity. It doesn't matter how hard you play the keys, it's always gonna be the same volume, but the way that an organ player gets around that is by manipulating these draw bars. So you can play really quiet if you just push them all up to the top. And if you wanna go just full out, You just draw out all the stops on the organ if you really want to wail. All right, guys, so this is just the very beginning of rock organ. There's so much more to learn. Now, I demoed this on a Roland VK7, but if you have any keyboard or synthesizer at home, you should have similar features like the rotary settings and the draw bar stuff somewhere in the feature settings of your instrument. So take a look at those, experiment with the sweet riff that we had here. Remember that G7 chord. and how those top two notes just kind of walk down to that G major triad. 
All right, everybody, I'm Jordan Libell. This is for Piano. And if you have anything else that you want to learn about the piano or the organ, check us out at piano.com.